hurt Simone. When the police think that my son killed Lisa. Why is that Celeste answering? She says she needed time to clear her head. I need her here. I mean, I can't stand to see Mum suffer like this. Michelle didn't even do it. He didn't even touch her. Martina, what did Simone say? I have never heard grief like that. She's lost a little girl for the second time. Poor Simone and Walter, please don't worry. I'll look after the shop while you deal with this nightmare. Did you, um, did you tell Simone that the police suspect Mitchell? Why would I? When it's a lie. No son of mine is capable of murder. Mitchell has dedicated his whole life to helping people, not hurting them. I'm not going to rest until I find out who did this to him. D.S. Denby and I wanted to follow up on a call you made regarding Mitchell Devereaux. Why are you only just coming forward? I was burying my head to protect my mum. She was already suffering so much with Mitchell leaving and then she got sick. But I have to speak up now. Lisa told me she was scared of Mitchell. Did she give you a reason why? She had an affair with my dad and it broke my mum's heart. Mitchell was so protective of my mum, he swore Lisa would pay. You know what? I need to stop. I made a mistake. Mum's already heartbroken. I can't do this. Look, yes, she will probably be angry with you for speaking up, but you'll know you've done the right thing. You're doing this for your family. You're right. I'm doing this for all of them. He did this. Martine, you, you've just had a major shock. You should be back at home looking after yourself. Well, my son is being accused of a heinous crime. No way. Mitchell was raised to be a proud and successful black man, not painted like some kind of criminal. I will not have my son used as a scapegoat. Martin, I just wanted to say how devastated I am to hear about Lisa. Yeah, if there's anything we can do. But thanks, guys. We're just trying to keep ourselves together right now. I just don't get who'd want to hurt her. Yeah, well, the police think that it was Mitchell. What? Mitchell would never harm Lisa. I mean, who, who would tell them that? I did. I fooled myself thinking I could keep this from all of you, but... I have to stand by my decision. What, by destroying your, your, your own brother's life? I'm sorry, but you don't know your son as well as you think. Well, well I do. I mean, I was, I was married to him. Mitchell would, would never kill anybody. Well, you never thought he'd walk out on you like you never meant anything to him. Or just disappear from your life and not even bother to check in. Not once. He had another side to him. No. No, no, no. You are lying. I don't know why, but you are. But if you destroy my son's life because of this, I will never forgive you. Please, you have to believe me. I did this to buy us more time. Getting your story straight. We just found out someone we love is never coming back. So please, Nate. Ah, it's all out in the open, that. Nah. Nate was my UC alias. My real name's Saul. I, I don't care what your name is. We are in pain right now, my family, so you need to back off. Oh, suddenly you're the doting father. Tell that to Mitchell. Chucking his name in the ring to get your old man off. Classy. But then again, if you're callous enough to do that to your own niece, you must run in the family. Once we speak to Mitchell and find out he's got an alibi, I'm coming for you. It's me they're coming for. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life locked up again. Don't just speak for yourself. Look, well, we are all tied up in this. Let's face it, we are all going to prison. No, we're not. If you two would just stop panicking for two seconds, I think I know a way out of this. But only if you do as I say.
Martine, I think it's time I told you the truth. Me and Lisa grew up together. I'm Margaret Smith's nephew. Look, I promise you I didn't know anything about it, and I've been dying to tell you. Look, I'm sorry I haven't been up front, but the truth is I love Lisa like a sister. We both thought we were cousins for years. We finished each other's sentences, argued like cat and dog, but she had my back no matter what. When it all came out about my auntie, it split us apart. And then, years later, I'm in our beef for I was in a bad way, trust me. Drink, drugs, you name it. And then, this beautiful, vibrant, absolute mouth on legs struts into the bar. <laughs> I was on my last drink, and it was Lisa. I thought it was the tequila playing tricks on me at first, but nah, it was really her. She took one look at me and said, right, you. Back on your feet. You're my day one, I ain't letting you go out like this. Sounds like my girl. She stuck with me till I was back on the right track, and then she was gone again. The last time I heard from her was the day of Mitchell's wedding. She was so... Happy for him. They idolized each other. How could you even suspect him? I don't. We have to follow every lead we have, but I know Celeste is lying, and it's to cover for her dad. No. No way. Felix, he has made his mistakes in the past, but at his heart, he's a good man. Listen, I didn't want to believe it either. But realistically, how long has Felix been back in your life for? What, what like a year? 18 months? The same with Toby and Celeste. They all lied about where Lisa was. So they're clearly covering something up. Do you honestly think you can trust them? I swear, all right, we will keep Scott's name out of it. Just, just do as I say and lay low till this all blows over, all right? I'll send you some money ASAP. Please, son. I hate doing this. So, Mitchell? Dad? You okay? He hates me. My own son hates me. You know, I, I deserve it because I went along with that lie that destroyed his life. You know what? I hate this as much as you do. But if we both stick to my plan and the police can't trace him, then it will give us more time to figure out what to do. For we know it might not work. We could still all go to jail. I just hope you think it's worth it. how much you lied about Lisa. The, the suicide, the fake postcard, and now this! I told those lies for you. I couldn't break your heart by telling you your own son was a murderer. Don't you dare! If you thought this was the truth, then why didn't you tell me from the start? I mean, what reason would you have to keep this from me for such a long time? Because I was scared. I saw him bury that shovel and I knew he was dangerous. And then, just when I built up the courage to finally tell you, you got cancer. I couldn't add another blow. But hold on, where was your golden boy when you were sick? Where was he when Grandad was attacked? Did he put you first in all of that? No, I did. Celeste, wait. Just... No, I'm done being painted as a villain. I forgave years of hurt and rejection to hold your hand during the toughest time of your life and you can't even put yourself in my shoes just once to see what this has done to me. I am sorry but I know Mitchell better than I know myself. <laughs> so you're choosing him again? If defending my son means choosing him, then yes, I do. Then you've just lost me all over again. C Celeste! Celeste, wait, wait! 